Hello and welcome to episode 68 of my Stellar Tactics tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on exploring a level 10 system um, because so far up until now, um, let's continue, up until now I've only been traveling around in level 1 systems whether they be neutral, wary or hostile, it's all been level 1. So now I'm going to try and try out a new system which is level 10. So in order to do that, let's close out of that. I'm going to go into FTL space. I fit, I'm currently in the FIFA system which is level 1 and it's neutral. A wary I should say actually the core so let's engage the FTL drive, FTL drive engaged. I was scanning a ship and you can see in the bottom right there I got a bit of experience just for doing that scanning other ships so it's a cool thing to do when you see another ship pass by scan it and you'll get experience Okay, so here we are in FTL space and the easiest way to navigate once you get into FTL space is if I bring up the star map and then, like I said, I'm going to head down this way. Now these are all level 1, so I'm looking for level 10. There we go. So, oh, that's a weird name. Botahook. Oh, I can pronounce that a bit better, even though I probably messed it up. But that's where we're going to head. It's neutral, it's got station services, minimum level 10. So let's. Oh, it's House Shikuru. And I think I wanted to do them, so I'm going to select it. I'm then going to get rid of the star map, back to FTL space, and approach. It's not. Oh, it is quite actually. There is a few things there. Right, so let's face the way we're going and speed up the thrusters to that. And it doesn't even take this. You might be wondering, wow, that's going to take a long time to get there because uh, you was traveling all the way down it. Well, it doesn't actually. You can see it's really quick. There it is, just up ahead. Botahook. I think that's pronounced. Anyway, let's enter system. FDL drive disengaged. So I'm wondering with it increasing in level increasing in level to level ten, does the loot get better? Do the enemies get tougher? Which I imagine they do, but does the loot then get better? And what other dynamics change? And Remember, it does go up to level 100, the uh, systems, at the, mo you know, at the moment, that is, of course, because the game's still in development. Um, I don't know if it'll go higher than that. Maybe not. Maybe. But, I mean, it's, it's so big, you're not going to see all the different systems. Not even if you obsess yourself for the rest of the lo your life looking. You probably still aren't going to visit all the systems. Right, let's have a look at this system so what I intend to do in this episode visit all of the planetary bodies and in the next episode we will do a mission for them for the Shikuru why not so let's start with Botahook 1 which is just in front of me let's scan it and that a nice green Right, so looks like there's mining nodes. Yeah, so different ores. Okay, so that's that first planet. Let's now take a look at Botahook 2. And I'm probably going to get a bit of space combat. So we'll be able to find out how tough they are. 
because remember when you sit in the system for so many minutes and eventually you're going to get a mission crop up okay so let's head oops, let's head towards that I can actually scan it from here. Let's head there. Oh, what did I do there? Did I put the guns on? Didn't mean to do that. What I did mean to do was put the shield in on. Let's get myself first. There we go. Go a bit quicker. Okay, so there is Boater Hook 2 and that just has one mining facility there for resources. So let's take a look at Boater Hook 3. Oh, it looks rather earth like. Scan it. No surface locations found. Oh, what's that over there? There's an outpost. No data, can't scan it. Okay, let's move on. Oh, that's the outpost there. Yes, there's no data on it, but we can visit that last. Right, Boater Hook 4. Get around the gravity field. them on actually. Oh, just in time. This is system control. Two raiders are harassing ships travelling in the area of Botahook 4. A reward will be credited to anyone eliminating the threat except mission. Right, okay. So we got mission and there it looks like is the enemies. Let's scan that planet first. Right, so just mining. Raiders. So, we're going to have some raider fun. Right, let's drop out of that. Put my cannons on, turrets on that is. And head towards them. Oh, here we are, in firing range. Put the directional shields that way, facing the most incoming fire and attack, I better do. Now, so these are going to be level 10, or at least the system is, so I imagine they are. Maybe I'm going to get obliterated, we'll see.
activation. <clears throat> Taken a little damage. Taken out the enemy shields on this ship, so now I'm going for its hull. That's going to be worth a ton of money. Yeah, my shields did take a little bit there, but not enough that's going to lose me the fight. And this is level 10 uh, system, so very cool. I didn't know if I was going to get here and it was just going to blow me to smithereens, but obviously the upgrades I've been doing to my ship have paid off. Only minor upgrades, like exceptional. I haven't got a single legendary item yet. Am I attacking that? I think I am, yeah. Yeah, I am, because it's shielding's down a bit, but it just takes... I am attacking it. What is going on there? Now I'm attacking it. Hmm. That's better. Let's scan it. Oh, so it's an interceptor like my ship. Scan quality 30%. Heavy plasma and heavy missiles. But my ship is coping. Taking a little more shield damage. gone through his shielding.
there we go. Cool. Look at this, all this experience gained. Ooh, getting some loot as well. Ooh, ton of stuff. System control thanks you. We are crediting a reward to your account. Safe travels. So, yeah, we got some good faction here. And my observation is that it's not giving faction rewards to the weary, only the ones which are neutral. Um, but got 33,000 credits, load of missiles, fusion ammunition, basic walk drive. Well, I got an exceptional walk drive off the last one. And there we are. I've got some experience in my targeting, electronics, piloting, and weaponry. Um, can we have a look at that? So. <clears throat> yeah, so where are we going to best see their progress? Oh, here we go. So best to show here. So they're doing the piloting, I believe. Who's in... What's their name? Oh, I can't... How do I view the statistics that they've done. I'm going to have to look into that. So they are gathering experience, but how much? With my main characters, obviously, I can see. So he's on the targeting system. And so he's now on two. Two out of a possible hundred. So they're really low. That's why I was worried about going to a level 10 system. But it appears you can come here even with really low level skills. Right, let's continue then. So that was Botahook 4, let's go to Botahook 5. Next. And I don't want to hit the gravity well. <clears throat> oh, need to turn my turrets off. There we go. And now I can scan it. Oh, this one's got three um, mining locations. Yeah, did I get Securo faction? No, I didn't. Oh, I've got some scavers. Oops, I'm nearly crashing into this planet. I don't want to do that again. Right, okay, so that's Botahook 5. Nothing there, really, just some mining operations. Botahook 6. I'm not close enough yet to scan. It shouldn't take long. There we go. No locations. So nothing on this planet <clears throat> currently. Because again, remember the game's still in development, so anything could pop up in the future in these planets. I do remember the developer saying that he's still adding points of interest. Okay, let's go visit then the outpost and get ourselves a mission. Oh, this is Star Control. One scavs a harassing ship. Ship, we'll take that. Boat Hook 4. Alright, let's go back there. And it looks like I've got to come around the planet. Let's... Oh, I think I'm too far away. That's what happens if you're too far away, you get no data. Scavers hostile, okay. Get ready to drop out of my mini warp. My shielding is on.
great way for making money doing these uh, ship bat these space combat battles and they really are perfection I absolutely love the space combat just like I absolutely love the ground combat such an excellent game and yeah you got a chance of getting some really nice loot right whoops let's get started let's get ready to rumble So this one is an explorer. So I tend to see fight I've been fighting explorers and interceptors. Cargo, there's a lot of cargo. 2700 Going down. So I've got through shielding, we're now doing damage. And there we go. How cool is that? So cool. Basic ship shield and what was that second bit of loot? Basic targeting computer. Oh, I've got some rounds of ammunition and a load of missiles and I'm actually using missiles so that's very handy indeed and some more faction gains very cool right let's head to the outpost sell the loot that we've been getting and get a mission well we'll have a look around I'll get the mission in the next episode oh I cannot micro walk because my turrets are on Oh, I don't want to hit the gravity field. Oh, what am I doing there? Oh, yeah.
it's so simple to fly as well you know it could have been made overly complicated but it's not it's a it's a joy to fly your ship I can honestly say that as long as you don't hit the gravity fields you're gonna be good nice quick travel So we got no data on this. Let's see if we can land. Yeah, there we go. Request docking permission. Docking. Go to Hook Free Outpost. Right, okay, so things like you should get in the habit of when you dock, first when you dock, is doing the upgrades to your ship that you want to do and obviously repairs. And I think there was something I wanted to upgrade. Yeah, that's better damage. But what is fusion cells? And I'm, I'm currently using fusion cells, but that would mean using power cells. Well, it does do a bit more damage, so I do think I want to swap that out. What one is it? 296. Yeah, so there's the one I'm currently using here. And there's my secondary. So I can sell that because the two heavies that I'm using are better. So I'll sell it. 15. Oh, look that. So that's an upgrade. Basic ship cargo expansion. It's going to give me 19 units instead of the 15 that I've currently got. So let's put that. Can I use two? Oh no, that's a hard point mount. Oh, it doesn't fit in my ship. Fits Explorer, and I'm an interceptor. All oh, right. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Just check the rest of this stuff. See if there's any upgrades. No, that's I've clearly got better. My warp drive's much better. No. See, I've been slowly upgrading all of it to rares and exceptionals, my all I've got equipped. <clears throat> that is slightly better. And it's for an intercept oh no it's not, it's an explorer. So wrong type of ship. Exceptional walk drive. Oh, there's the timer. That's for an explorer as well. So I can sell all of this because look how much money that's going to make me. And that was just one simple quick space battle has netted me nearly 200,000. So what I'm going to do, the time is gone. I'm going to go and sell all of this stuff because 
I want to get my credits up. Before I left the FIFA system, I checked the um, Sawyer Farm uh, merchant and he had a legendary turret, but I couldn't afford it. So I, that's what I want to do. I want to upgrade all my stuff to legendary. And it's going to take a long, long time, but that's my goal. And so I'm going to sell everything and keep saving until I start seeing more legendary equipment. If there is any legendary equipment on this uh, base that's being sold, I will try and show it in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.